I know it's around here somewhere. Where is it? Oh yes, there it is, my premium Bandai exclusive. Now I know what you're thinking. This is not the Vegeta we would have wanted. We would have wanted the Namekian Vegeta without the shoulder pads, without the scouter, the one he is so iconic for, the only outfit we don't have for Vegeta from Tamashi Nations. Well folks, to be honest, we do kind of have a Namekian Vegeta. You see, these shoulder pads on the screen can actually be removed. Now, it may not be identical to the Namekian Vegeta that we want and certainly will receive sometime in the future, but it is a great placement until that time comes. If you're planning on picking up my premium Bandai exclusive, then hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'm sure Mars would like it. So this figure is going to cost you $65 and that does not include shipping nor taxes. With those included, you're looking at paying upwards to $85, but nothing over that. I personally feel like this figure should have been maybe $50, and I think because it's a premium Bandai exclusive, that is going to be the extra $15 additional dollars we're paying for. I also believe for that extra $15, it would have been nice for them to include something extra, maybe a blast effect maybe even an aura effect, something extra to really set this figure apart from other releases, other premium Bandai releases. The New York Comic Con just took place last week and fortunately for us, we were able to see this Vegeta live displayed at the show. And I gotta say, for the most part, the figure looks good. However, it is very noticeable with the shoulder pads, how they just don't really set properly I guess right now we are in a time and age that Tamashii Nations doesn't have the answer to use the right mechanic or the best mechanic for these figures. However, I do expect probably within the next five years that they master these shoulder pads and we really get something wonderful. One response that I've seen in the community with this release is the comparison to Battled Armor Gohan, basically saying it is just a bigger upscaled version of that release from premium bandai of course and to an extent i do agree but i want to know what is your impression with this figure how do you feel about this figure are you planning on pre-ordering me i don't know if i'm going to pre-order now or if i'm going to wait should i wait and the pre-orders close from premium bandai i will give you additional websites that you can go to to pre-order this vegeta now I've already covered Premium Bandai, which by the way, there is no mention anywhere on this page about same worldwide delivery. And that may be a factor when choosing to pre-order this figure or not. Now the one website that is an absolute last resort, which you may wanna jump on because it may sell out, is going to be BBTS. And they're asking nearly double the original amount, ladies and gentlemen. So you really need to sit back and ask yourself, is this a company that you want to support who is doing these outrageous prices? Now, to be fair, you know, at least it will be there. Not everybody is going to have the 120 plus dollars to get this figure. But those who miss out on the opportunity from Premium Bandai, it is there. So if you didn't jump on the wagon when it went, then of course you're going to have to pay for that extra ticket. Now moving into our import sites, here we have Nin Nin Game. And the cool thing about this website is that you can actually type in your email and you will become notified should somebody cancel their pre-orders. Nin Nin Game is pretty fast on shipping and you'll probably get this before Premium Bandai. Up next, we have Hobby Jinky. And unlike Nin Nin Game, this is still up for pre-order. And again, you'll probably get this faster than Premium Bandai. So if that's a factor for you, I would suggest import sites. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that is going to cover it for this pre-order breakdown. Now the websites that I showed in the video are my personal suggestions apart from BBTS. Now I am going to give you some additional homework for you to go out and do your own extended research to see what website best favors your needs 
when deciding to pick up this figure. Most importantly, comment below and let me know how do you feel about this release. Again, I am still on the fence right now, not sure if I'm going to pick it up and give this figure a nice nature review or not. It's undecided. Maybe you can convince me down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Purge.